Hi, Chef Pete here from Sterling Silver Premium Meats. Today we're going to talk about the eye round. Where does the eye round come from? Well, it's in the name. It comes from the round complex. So it's something that's going to come off of the gooseneck, which when it's once removed, then it becomes the outside round or bottom round. So I'm going to take this out of the package here and we're going to talk a little bit more about the muscle profile itself. And then also, what do you do with it? Okay, so we got some really long muscle fibers here. They're pretty big, they're pretty tight. And this is actually a fairly lean piece of meat. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna be a bad piece of meat. So what would I do with this? I could roast it. You can braise it, not, not necessarily the best cut for that, but you can, you just gotta be real careful with it. Uh, you make steaks out of this, you make stir fry out of it, you make jerky out of it. You can make cube steaks out of it. You can do what would be like a Swiss braised steak, so thinner cut steaks that you're gonna basically give a, a quick um, stewing in a pan. Um, you can pound these out real thin and bread them for country fried steaks, milanese. Any, any of those would work. But let me tell you something here. There are a few things that you definitely wanna do when you get your rye round. So there is a fat cap in, on here. If you choose to leave it on, that's great but there's some uh, silver skin and everything that you're gonna wanna clean up off the sides and all. So we're gonna take a little bit of that off. It doesn't take a lot of work. You know, this would actually be really good on a smoker too, right? Making, making roast beef is one of the easiest things to do and it's a great uh, way to use this cut. Now, one thing I've learned over the years is, you know, I mean, it, it can be a little bit on the tough side but if treated properly, you can have a great experience with this cut. So aging it properly, right? So minimum day, 21 days age for Sterling Silver program. I personally would take it closer to 40 days. And again, making sure that your packaging is intact, but you're gonna get more tender. And then to be 100% honest, if you were to freeze this properly, so freeze fast and then thaw it slow in the refrigerator, you're gonna gain even more tenderness. This piece I have here has got about 45 days age on it. And I had it in the freezer for about a week, took it out. But I mean, if you do only one day over, overnight and then pull it, it, what it does is it breaks down that muscle fiber just a little bit more. And this actually is a really, really good eating steak. So what do we traditionally do from, from a steak standpoint? I'll show you here in a second after I finish trimming this. Okay, so I have it trimmed up. Traditionally, if you're gonna cut steaks out of this, you're gonna take it, take some of that off right there, but you're gonna cut your steaks just like this, right? You can find them in retail like this too, right? Just like that. That's one way to handle it. Another thing you're gonna do like I said, roast at home, smoke at home, roast half of it, that's great. You could cut some stir fry out of this. And how I would do that, take a chunk and I would remove the fat on the top here. Get rid of that. Now, when you're cutting your stir fry, your muscle fibers are running this way, or in this case, standing up and down. So you're gonna wanna cut those muscle fibers as small as possible. So personally, I would take it, stand it up like this, and then I would go straight with those muscle fibers, and I would cut slices. And then when you stand it back up, so you can see it right here, these muscle fibers are running across. That's when I would then cut my stir fry pieces, just like that. something bigger like this. I mean, unless you want long strips, which you can do just like this, long strips, that's fine. Or if you want shorter strips, you just do that, maybe stack it on top of each other and slice it this way. You know, if you got a slicer in the restaurant, you can take this, if you, if you like to put raw meat on a slicer and, and you can manipulate this and, and cut it 
faster, of course, on a slicer. Cut your planks, throw them back on, give it a quick uh, chill in the freezer so it stands up a little straighter um, and it's, it's not so flexible. And then you can actually take that and put it in the freezer. So stir fry is great. Take these, pound them out, cube them. Works great like that. To be honest, like I said, if you age this really well and then you actually put it in the freezer, pull it out, after a day of being frozen, let it thaw slowly. Don't, don't put it in the water because that's not going to give you that same uh, experience. Right here is a great eating steak. To be honest, it's, it's really, really good. People like lean meat too, so it's got great flavor. But I want to show you something else too that I've done and, and I like to do, just very similar to these planks that I cut. I'm going to take this and let's just say we uh, take all the fat off of it. We'll do a quick clean in here, remove all that. Again, just trying to make you think about just different ways, maybe techniques that not a lot of people use, but this can give you a great item for a carving station, but not as a roast beef, right? So I've been to plenty of places where, you know, maybe they've got a flat iron on the carving station. Right, you know, or some sirloin flap, something that's more steak-like as opposed to a roast. Maybe, maybe it's during lunchtime or something, or for Sunday brunch. Um, sometimes a lot easier to handle. So now we've got this piece again. Ran, the fibers are running long ways. But we can take this and cut big planks straight across. All right. Just like that. Do another one. Cut those big planks straight across. And then what are these great for? They go right in a marinade. Throw that on the grill, just like this. Put it on your carving station. Nice medium rare steak. I mean, it's an economical cut with a little bit of work. There's plenty of profit that can be made, plenty of great eating experiences that can be had. So for more information and any other information about Sterling Silver, please visit our website at www.sterlingsilvermeats.com. Have a good day.